All right, this is going to be a quick video on how to change the splash screen. That is when I boot up the Nirvana, um, the startup screen or image. So this, this yeah, right here. Baby. Yeah. Um, how do we change that? Just and at the top here, um, how I change that OpenCX logo. Uh, so both are really easy. I'm going to switch this off straight away. Um, grab the SD card out and load it into the laptop. Okay, so now I've got the content of my Nirvana up on screen, not the SD card. Uh, the first thing I wanna do, this is really simple, but it's not that um, clearly stipulated. In your images directory, all you need to do is drop a PNG file into your images directory called splash.png. Uh, and for the purpose of this, I'm just grabbing a uh, replica of one of my backgrounds and I'm going to dump it in there. So that's it, uh, splash.png. Um, I'm not sure of the, the specific pixel requirements for that, um, but I'm basing it off the, the standard background uh, template. And the background template is the one that you can find uh, in your themes directory under default. So that's this one here. And whilst you're in this directory, the theme slash default directory, the mask underscore OpenTX image, that's uh, where the OpenTX comes from, or it's the source file uh, when you fire up your Nirvana on the top left. Uh, so if I right mouse click on it, in fact, it originally looks like this here on the left. I'll double click on that and open it up. And you see it's this tiny little PNG transparent file. Um, if I right mouse click and check the properties of that particular file, it is bringing it across under details, 52 by 52 pixels. So all I did was grab an existing file that I liked and, and you can take one of these other icons or pictures here and rename it if you like or copy and rename it. Um, but I just took a, a test image, uh, I simply clicked on edit, opened it up in paint uh, and then resize pixels 52 that might distort some of your images um, that one seemed to work that's it let's um, put this back in the transmitter and see what it looks like SD card back in the transmitter we'll fire her up I should really clean that screen and and change this sound file and there it is so yeah, baby. <laughs> the dimensions are correct it's the background same as the background uh, and you'll see here that focus a little bit there's that icon there now you could also just um, right mouse click and edit the existing one and, and draw some pixels there but anyway that's how you change those two things quick video thanks for watching see you next time